Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at Naborian Saga. This game is a, an epic high fantasy role-playing game. Uh, the thing that's unique about it is we have like, it's like a mixture. We're going to have a, uh, so it's like a game book sort of game is what they call it, where you're like, you're kind of following along a story. Um, and you also have interesting tactical combat. We have like roguelike dungeoneering, it says, uh, mini games and much more, according to the Steam page. Um, so this is, it came out a couple years ago as an app. Uh, a mobile game, and it has just come over to Steam as of yesterday, and I thought we would try it out. So I'm not done. Normally I do a test game to kind of give out an idea of what I'm doing. I did not do that this time. I figured we'd just go in here and uh, and see what's going on. We have enough. It seems like we have enough help here to uh, give us an idea of what's going on. The first thing we want to do is we want to uh, build our character and start our first quest. Uh, it tells us we can travel. There's also an arena. So the thing about this game is it is multiplayer. We can play uh, against, we can do PvP in an arena against other folks. Um, yeah, so let's, uh, let's make our guy here. And then we have to build our ability points. Um, we can tell that these holes are what they, all they do. We know what these do. So what kind of character do we want to make? I don't know. Let's just uh, throw them out here, I guess. Intelligence? Who needs intelligence? We'll put it at least like a 10. I mean, that's, that's something. Um, we'll put up... Dex and strength, that's what we want. I guess these are just one for one, so that works for me. Alright, skill points. We want to be able to climb, sure. Jumping is good. Picking locks, nah, we don't need to pick locks. Riding, searching is okay. Uh, well, no, this isn't D&D. &D. This is just a not necessary. Persuasion, intimidation, we want that. Yes. Decipher, persuasion, riding. Uh, we're going to climb well and, and intimidate folks. Uh, create character, remaining feet points. We uh, select a feet to learn it. You click it again, you can unlearn it. Get back to feet more. Okay. We want, uh, what is this? Plus five defense, plus five attack. I don't have, I can't do any of these because I don't have enough, enough dexter. Oh, I thought I put, put more. Maybe I need more dexter strength. Um, let's take the, uh, the defense bonus. That sounds like a good idea. Plus five defense value in the current round. Remaining spell points. We have no spells because I didn't choose any. Uh, my my like probably is too. I'm too stupid to do spells. And we have 100 gold. Let's buy an item. We can buy dagger, lame flail, warhammer. Costs 50. Oh, we should probably just buy some armor. Let's let's buy the basic stuff first. Some hide armor, some leather, uh, leather leg armor. Let's go ahead and stick with the leather because we we know we can. I think we can afford all this stuff if we're careful with it. <clears throat> some leather pants. A nice helmet. Uh, these are 14. What can we afford? These are expensive. We need a good weapon, though. 75. A lance. We can buy... We can't even buy a short sword. We can't buy anything. We can buy a deck. Okay, we gotta sell something. I don't want this. Uh, we gotta have something. We're gonna buy a Warhammer. We have six gold left, which will get us not even a shield. What's more important? Pants or a shield? I guess we're gonna go with uh, that. Rations are 40 gold. I don't have enough money for this. Um, we can buy a rope. We can buy a flint and steel. Yes. Can we buy a flask of water? No, that's 20 gold for water. What are we, like, in the middle of a drought here? Yeah, all right, that'll work. Here's a character. Uh, the figure that will represent you in combat. Uh, this is an important part. We're going to choose this guy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sure, I think I've seen him before somewhere. Uh, start reading. Okay, so uh, so yeah, we have a, a whole story. It's like a like a create your own adventure sort of uh, game. I guess we're gonna be like following along in this uh, this story. Maybe an epic series about the rise of a mighty kingdom. I won't read all of this. So, but we're at the beginning of the episode. Okay. Yeah. How I, uh, start your adventure. There we go. So lift your sword and shout. Uh, higher, higher, Lord Kelenor shouts as he leaps forward to decapitate you. That sounds concerning. Okay, we're gonna go to the parade ground for our afternoon lesson. Parade ground with the Citadel is a place for exercise and training in pages and squires. Let's win this training fight. Yes. Okay. So this is the tactical combat part of the game. So whenever we go into combat, this is the screen that pops up. I did watch. I said I, I haven't played this game. I did watch a video on it, so I kind of have an idea of what's going on here. We have our different feats, we have our runes and magic, and we have finished rounds. You can see our number of points we have available. We're going to go, you know, we're just going to charge right up to them. Yeah. What can I do? This one. 
Yes, use that one. Because they're going to walk up and they're going to beat on me, so. Okay, so their turn. They will try to uh, destroy me, but... Uh, he tried to hit me with that melee attack. He did not. He did not either. The music in this game is fantastic. I don't know if it's if it's fair use, if I if I will get flagged on this or not, but it's really good music. Uh, so everyone tried to hit me. They did not, though. Um, we're going to swing at this guy. We got him. Four damage. Take that, Brian. Now, I don't think I can attack again. I can attack. I can move if I want to. Um, I don't have any magic. Maybe I should have chosen something that can do magic. Yeah, use that. I have to select it every time. Yeah, we're not moving anywhere. We're taking them on. I didn't buy those pants for nothing. I'm not quite sure how the dice rolls will work. I mean, you can see, obviously, I'm the green and they're the red. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just whoever gets better. That's seven versus six. I'm not sure how that works. Um, let's take out Brian here. Eight and seven. We beat him. Hit him for four damage. Okay, we almost have him. Let's step to the side here. Sure. Just for fun. Uh, no magic, but we will... What does this mean? Quick a feat and add to the auto feats. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. Add to auto feat. There we go. Can I speed combat up any? It's kind of slow. Brian's down to two. How come he has a name and no one else does? No one has hit me yet because of my amazing pants. I knew those pants were a good investment. All right, Brian. Time to meet your doom, buddy. So now we oh, we did roll. We've got a ten. He versus his eight. We hit him for four damage. And Brian is uh, dead. Okay, we don't want to get uh, like flanked here. So we're going to come step over here. So, they, again, they rolled higher than me. I'm assuming, like, it has to do with the roll plus... I don't know. I'm not sure what this means either. Like, did I not put my gear on? Oh, I don't have my gear on. Oh, well, that's kind of an issue. So, never mind, it wasn't the pants. <laughs> uh, we don't want that. Okay, there we go. Now we're wielding things. We were just punching people? <laughs> it's kind of shameful, Brian. All right, let's see what we can do now. 14 damage. We did 14 damage to the guy. They're like, <laughs> okay. We bashed his head in. Um, yeah, turn done. We were just in there with our with our fists punching people. Naked with fists. It's amazing what happens when you wield a war hammer. Can I put this into... Um, no, I can just... I can't put it in. I guess this is like rings, and uh, I can't tell what that symbol is. Uh, okay, so uh, venture number one. 12 damage. There you go. He only had five hit points. All right. The parade ground something something. Uh, the Citadel is a place for exercise and training. Pages and squires these days a week. Three days a week. Gather here for pri for practicing. Turn toward another corner of the grounds to find the source of the applause. Someone's fighting me. The fight is your action. All right. I will, I'll try, and, I'm going to try to skip this, I mean, um, this is like most of the game is, is reading this stuff, so I'm going to try to kind of run through it, and if you want to play the game, you kind of know what's going on. I shall be there, your highness, plus it would be kind of low if I read through the whole thing. Alright, so we're talking with, uh, Lady, uh, Carluna, is that her name? Noble Doors might wild hardwood, yep. We're going to be my princess if I do not feel prepared for such a great challenge. Oh, yes, I am at a challenge, what she wants. Something we're trying. My, uh, I might have a problem, which cannot be solved without the help of a strong young man. Well, that's me. Will you accept my offer? You haven't even told me what it is. Okay. Stands up, steps in front of you, takes the ornate dagger from his box, and gives it to you. Um, yeah, I'll take it. I'll take that. All right, so we have a choice. We can either do the silver swan or the golden eagle. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Golden Eagle. That sounds exciting. Pull out the holy symbol from under your tavern and touch it with your forehead to your lips. Uh, yes, I'll take th I'll take that. Sit down and wait for the story. Eagerly. We're going to skip the story, though. 
prepare for our journey. So the game, there's like three uh, quests. I this thing's kind of loading strangely on the OBS. I apologize for that. Uh, we have three quests we have to get through. Uh, I'm not quite sure how it works. I just read through the um, the uh, story here on the on the Steam page. Start our quest immediately. Oh, probably because I'm, I'm having to do a monitor capture on this. I'm not going to do a game capture. It's not letting me do a game capture there for some reason. That's probably why it's a little strange. Uh, so I apologize if the video is a little bit awkward. Um, okay, so this is me. We can enter the town. We can walk over here. Let's go over here. That's where we came from, is that town. So let's walk this way. Let's enter Balval. Uh, what? Oh, I have to do online stuff for that? I have to? All right, let's skip that then. So yeah, again, the game is like online. Maybe, do I have to do online for everything here? I might have to. I don't want to do online. Visit. No, I can't do that either. Alright, so I guess we have to log in for all of this. Because you can do like arena things. Enter the arena, which we have to do. We have to be online for that. Oh, maybe not. Oh, we can just fight stuff like this. Okay, I'll do that. Hang on a second. I want me to camp. Uh, we're going to just camp. This is if we wanted to rest. No, we don't have any of that, so we're just gonna rest. Like, I guess if we level, we level while we rest. Okay, we're all rested. Um, can I move the screen? Can I move myself? No. So, um... Yeah, that's where we want to go, but we can't because we have to, like, log in. I don't want to do that. So, we're just going to go to the arena and try that out. Go here to show off the game. We have done that, I think. Pick a combat and buy items at a higher price. Don't worry, your character cannot die here. Your victories will be given uh, give you fame points, gold coins, additionally strength, dexterity, and uh, percentages. Um, we're going to go easy is fine. We can kill uh, four guys. We can kill... Ooh, let's go with this. Let's take out the skeletons. There we go. Okay, so we have to do this all over again. We have there's my my golden thing, I think. Oh no, I'm on a horse. Is that what that is? I'm on a horse. There we go. We have a dagger in that hand. The swan. Um use it? What does it do? I don't know. We'll, we'll wait. Maybe it does some sort of healing thing. Let's take out this guy. I don't like the way he looked at me. Whoops. You. Oh, I can't because I wasted my all my turn like running around everywhere. Everywhere. Um, oh, these are zombies. Okay. Is my thing still auto? I guess it is still auto since it's down there. Ooh. That was a good roll. I think. Let's step. To this side here, and then smack this guy for 14 damage. I think we chose wisely with the warhammer, and then uh, we're gonna move into the corner. There we go. I'm not sure if there's a flanking bonus on the game. I'm assuming there is, but uh, we're gonna hang out over there. We did gain a hit point notice. Yeah, you can't hit me. Especially since I have my pants now. There's 14 more damage. And end turn. I see that roll was way better than mine. I don't know. Not sure why I can't be hit. Okay, I can't swing twice around. So we're just going to end our turn. What does this do? Little screen, something goes weird. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. And 22 damage we just did to that guy. All right. Well, we gained some dex, some strength, some fame. We're a little bit cooler. All right. Well, I think that's. Uh... Oh. Yeah, I'll take those. 
I think that's enough of the of showing off the game. I don't want to do the uh, the online stuff, so we can't show all of that off. But we can show off the basics of the game. And when you go online, it does make it. I guess it sounds pretty cool when you go online because you can like travel or not travel, but you can fight um, against real folks in that sort of arena thing, which is kind of cool. Anyways, thanks again for watching, and uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description to this game if you'd like to check it out. Again, thank you for the key to uh, Libra Primus Games. That's the uh, developer and publisher of the game. Uh, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.